Hi everyone, my name is Janneke and welcome to this short little gentle morning yoga sequence. Today all you need is a yoga mat. Maybe if you have a pillow or a block, anything that you want to prop yourself up, with, up on to sit a little bit more comfortably. So go ahead and come into a cross-leg seated position. You can either sit cross-legged or if this is too much, you can sit back into a hero's pose on your heels like so, maybe even placing a block or a bolster or a pillow underneath your hips. So just making sure that you are comfortable. We're going to start with a little bit of breathing and just taking a moment just to arrive, especially if you're just woken up. Your breath might be a little bit shallow. So let's bring our awareness to our breathing. Go ahead and take a couple of long deep inhales and exhales through your nose. And then take a long deep inhale through your nose. Audible sigh out through your mouth. Do that again, big inhale through your nose. Big sigh out through your mouth. Last one here, big inhale through your nose. Sigh out through your mouth. And just trying to come back to a regular breathing again. So gently breathing in through your nose. Exhale out through your nose. Okay, we're going to place the left hand on the belly, right hand on the heart. We're gonna do a two-way breath. So again, just making sure that you're comfortably sitting, sitting up tall, try to relax your shoulders. So the first breath is going to be in through the belly. So you're gonna inhale through your nose. So as you inhale, belly is gonna expand like a big balloon. And then exhale, belly contracts. On the next inhale, belly is gonna rise. Exhale, sorry, chest is gonna rise. And then exhale, chest lowers. So inhale through your belly, belly expands. Exhale, belly contracts. Inhale through your chest, chest rises. Exhale, chest lowers. Closing your eyes and just continuing the breath in through your belly, breathing through your nose. And through your chest. Go ahead and finish off both breaths through the belly and through your chest. And then go ahead and lower your hands down on your knees. Big inhale through your nose again. Big sigh out through your mouth. And then you can gently open your eyes. Start to tilt your head over to your right. And then over to your left. So just stretching the sides of your neck. So just a gentle tilt to the right, ear, ear towards your shoulder, gentle stretch to your left. That was a big crack, I'm not sure if you could hear that. <laughs> okay, and then go ahead and circle, so tuck your chin. So let's just start to circle one direction first. Just be very gentle, try not to throw your head back. And wherever you're feeling a little bit of tightness, stiffness, just work through that area a little bit slower. And then go ahead and swap direction.
coming back to neutral. On the next inhale, we're gonna sweep our arms up. You're gonna reach for your left wrist with your right hand. Take another inhale, find length in your spine. On the exhale, side bend to your right. Try to draw that left sit bone down as you're side bending to your right. And then breathing into your left side body. Bring it back up. Grab a hold of your right wrist. Take an inhale, find length. And then exhale, side bend to your left. Breathing into that right side. Inhale, back up. And then exhale, interlace your fingers behind your back. Draw your shoulders back and start to draw your hands up towards the, sh towards the ceiling. Maybe take your gaze up, maybe drop your head back. But if it's too much on your neck, just keep your head upright. Very good, go ahead and release. Sweep your arms out to the sides. So from here, we're going to externally rotate our shoulders. We're gonna turn our thumbs up towards the ceiling, palms up. Take an inhale, on the exhale, we're going to internally rotate our shoulders so thumbs are facing down. So we're gonna do a few of those rolls to inhale. Externally open. And then exhale, internal. Rotation, good, so just continuing with your breath. Very good. From here, you're gonna bend your elbows and then you're gonna place your hands behind your back. So one hand is on top of the other. It doesn't matter which hand is on top of which. And then from here, we're going to gently start to twist to the right twist to the left and straight away I think you'll notice where your tightness is in your spine especially if you've just woken up for me there's quite a lot of tightness happening right now so I'm just gently gonna to, going to start to warm up that lower part of my spine Good. Come back to center. So we're gonna come into a twist now and hold. So the hand is on top of the other still. Take an inhale. On the exhale, twist to your left. We're just gonna hold here. Option, if you wanna take a deeper right elbow, it's gonna rest on your right thigh. Maybe you can work that right elbow into your knee crease. That's the word, knee crease. And then start to open up to your left looking past that left shoulder and just breathing here just keep drawing that left sit bone down so there's a tendency for our breath to become a little bit shallow when we go into deep twists so bring your awareness back to your breathing again to see if you can take an inhale lengthen and then exhale maybe you can go a little bit deeper Very good, coming back to center. And we're going to twist the opposite side. So take an inhale, exhale, twist to your left. You can either just stay in this gentle twist, maybe you can work that left elbow on your left thigh, or maybe into that left knee crease. Keep opening up to the right, maybe take your gaze past your right shoulder. Good, and then bring it back. Release your palms down on your knees. Just do a couple of shoulder rolls just to release. And then from here, we're going to roll over and we're gonna come into all four. And we're going to do a couple of rounds of cat and cow. Knees hip distance apart, arms shoulder width apart. Go ahead and drop your chest on the inhale. Take your gaze up towards the ceiling. On the exhale, press the floor away from you. Curl your spine, drop your head. So move with your breath, breathe through your nose, inhale, open your heart, exhale, curl. Now 
And then we're gonna start to add a couple of hip rolls. So you're gonna roll your hips down towards your heels and then all the way up towards your wrists. So start with one direction first. You can do big circles, small circles, whatever feels good. And go ahead and swap direction. Come back to a neutral position. Okay, from here, you're going to step your right foot outside of your right hand or as far out, a little bit further out of, of, on the right side of your mat so it doesn't have to be too close to your right hand if that's difficult. And then you're gonna bend the right knee, press your hips forward, and then you're gonna step back into all four again. Take an inhale on the exhale, step your left foot outside of that left side of the mat. Press your hips forward, step it back to all four. So let's just continuing with this movement, slowly stepping to the right, pressing your hips forward, and then stepping to the left with the left foot. Again, it can be a little bit further out if that's easier. Let's do a few more rounds. Good, and then coming into all four. From here, right leg, left arm. We're going to extend, look forward, inhale. On the exhale, bringing your elbow knee together. Curl your spine. Inhale, lengthen, look forward. Exhale, elbow knee together. Moving with your breath. Last one here, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, elbow knee together. And then lower right knee down, left hand down. So let's do opposite side, left leg, right arm. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, elbow knee together. Two more. Last one here, inhale. Exhale, elbow knee together. And then go ahead and lower. Let's do a few more uh, rounds of cat and cow just to release. Okay, coming into all four again. From all four, tuck your toes, lift your hips and your knees, coming into a downward dog. In this downward dog, just lift and lower your heels. You can keep your knees bent. If it feels good, maybe paddle out your feet. Walking your hands back towards your feet. Coming into a ragdoll, just grabbing hold of your elbows for a moment. Keeping your knees bent, a gentle rock up and down, side to side. Placing your hands on your ankles. On the inhale, lift up halfway, find length in your spine. On the exhale, go ahead and fold forward. You can bend your knees on your way down as you fold. Inhale, lift, lengthen, lift your heart. Exhale, fold. So move with your breath. Inhale. And exhale. Let's go ahead and do two more inhale. And exhale. Last one, inhale. And exhale. Lower your hands down. We're gonna place the right hand in the middle, bending your right knee. If you have a block you can use, if you need it, place it underneath your right hand. Sweep your left arm up. Try to stack your shoulders. 
Just holding here, option to wrap that left arm behind your back, maybe reaching for that right inner thigh. Keep opening up that left shoulder. And then go ahead and swap. So we're gonna lower the left hand down, sweep the right arm up. Try to stack your shoulders. You can bend into that left knee. So option to wrap the right arm behind the back, reaching for your left inner thigh, or maybe just placing your hand on the back. Good, and bring it back. Walking your hands forward to a downward dog. From the downward dog, you're going to sweep your right leg up. On the exhale, you're gonna step the right foot outside of your right hand, and then lower your left knee to the ground. So from here, we wanna to try to square off the hips. If you have blocks at home you wanna use, you can place them underneath your hands. The hands are gonna go inside of that right foot. You can also come up onto your fingertips if this position is too hard. On the inhale, lift your heart. On the exhale, we're gonna straighten out the front leg and then flexing your right foot up so your toes are facing up towards the ceiling. And then bending the front leg again, inhale, look forward. Exhale, straighten out the front leg. Good, bending, inhale. And exhale. Let's do two more, inhale. And exhale. Last one, inhale. On the exhale, we're gonna hold. So straighten out the front leg. Lift your heart. Lengthen on exhale. Maybe you stay here, maybe you fold a little bit deeper. Go ahead and bend into the front leg. Left hand is going to stay on the ground. I'm going to sweep that right arm up towards the ceiling. If you want to go for like a half bind here, you can place your right hand on your lower back. Again, opening up that right shoulder. Keep pressing your hips forward. And then release. Okay, you're gonna heel to your right foot over to your right. And then you're gonna lower that right sit bone down. So we're coming into a pigeon position. Try to square off your hips. If you're tilting too far to the right, place a block bolster a pillow underneath your right sit bone. You can also tuck that right leg under slightly. Just make sure that you're not balancing on your right knee. Okay, from here, keeping that right foot flexed if your foot is a little bit higher up. Take an inhale. On the exhale, fold. So we're just gonna lift and fold. We're doing a little bit of active stretching just to wake the body up. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold. Few more here, inhale and exhale. Two more, inhale, moving with your breath and exhale. Last one here, inhale, lift. Exhale, fold and hold. So walk your hands forward, maybe forearms to the ground. Very good, come on up, walking your hands back. You're gonna tuck the right leg under. You're gonna sweep the left leg to the front and the left foot is gonna go over your right knee, both sit bones on the ground. We're gonna take a twist to the left. So you're gonna take the right arm, you're gonna hug your right arm around your left knee, left fingertips on the ground behind you. On the inhale, you're gonna lengthen your spine. On the exhale, twist to your left. So just looking past that left shoulder. So on every inhale, see if you can lengthen your spine a little bit further. On every exhale, see if you can twist a little bit deeper.
very good and release from here we're gonna turn our bodies to the right we're gonna lift up and we're gonna walk our hands forward and come into a downward dog so we are facing the back of the mat now okay so we're gonna do the opposite side sweep your left leg up inhale on the exhale step your left foot outside of your left hand lower your back knee down coming up onto your fingertips again we're going to try to square off our hips option to, to place two blocks underneath your hands if you have blocks that you want to use if not fingertips or maybe just hands on the ground completely flat inhale lift your heart look forward exhale straighten out the front leg so flex your left foot inhale re-bend look forward lift your heart moving with your breath exhale straighten out the front leg trying to keep your hips square let's go ahead and do two more inhale and exhale last one inhale and exhale okay we're gonna inhale lift the heart on the exhale go ahead and fold and hold so try to draw that left hip back right hip forward so again we're squaring off taking an inhale on the exhale maybe you fold a little bit deeper Very good, bend into to that front leg. You're going to heel to your left foot over to your right. And we're gonna come into that pigeon position again, lowering your left sit bone down. You can move that right knee a little bit further back, making sure that your hips is square. So maybe tucking that left foot under if your hips are really tight. So maybe propping yourself up on a pillow or a bolster. Take an inhale, let's do active stretching first. Exhale, go ahead and fold forward. Inhale, lift, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Two more, inhale. And exhale. Last one, inhale. Exhale, go ahead and fold and hold. So we're gonna lower the forearms down. I'm just letting your head drop down for a moment. So just try to relax your neck, relax your shoulders. Slow to come on up. We're gonna come into seated again. So you're gonna tuck the left leg under, sweep the right leg to the front, right foot goes over your left knee. Both sit bones on the ground. We're gonna take a twist to the right. So our left arm is gonna wrap around that right leg. On the inhale, lengthen your spine. On the exhale, see if you can twist a little bit deeper. So working with your breath on every inhale, find a little bit more length in your spine. On the exhale, see if you can twist a little bit deeper. Very good, go ahead and bring it back. You can always do a little quick counter twist to your left. And then from here, we're going to kick the legs forward. Give them a little shake, shake it out. And I'm gonna come into Baddha Konasana. So bringing the soles of your feet together, grabbing hold of your feet and then open your feet like you're reading a book. So thumbs on the inside, take an inhale. On the exhale, fold forward. Keep your elbows in as you fold and then try to draw your knees down. If you have any type of knee injuries or knee issues, keep your feet further away from the middle, okay?
and then slowly coming up. Gently draw your knees together. We're gonna to roll down onto our backs. As you roll down, go ahead and hug your knees in towards your chest. A gentle rock from side to side. You're gonna lower the left foot down, so left leg stays bent, left knee stays bent, and you're gonna kick the right leg up towards the ceiling. Then interlace your fingers around your right thigh. Maybe if you're a little bit more flexible, you can walk your hand a little bit further up the leg. Keep your left foot flexed. Take an inhale. On the exhale, start, start to draw your right leg towards your chest. Try to keep your tailbone tucked under as you're coming into this deep hamstring stretch. And if you find it hard to reach, if you have a towel, you can take a towel around your foot, maybe a strap. Good, slowly lower that right leg down. And then we're going to kick the left leg up. So same thing here, keeping the left foot flexed, tucking your tailbone under. Interlace your fingers around your left thigh. Maybe walk your hands a little bit further up that left leg. Take an inhale. On the exhale, start to draw that left leg a little bit closer towards your chest. And go ahead and lower your left foot down. Both knees stay bent, feet hip distance apart. See if you can touch your heels with your fingertips. If not, move your heels a little bit closer towards your hips. On the next inhale, we're going to lift our hips up. You're gonna press the chest towards the back of the mat. Pretend like you have a block between your thighs and you're trying to squeeze that block. Your palms can be facing down. You can also work your shoulders under and then interlace your fingers behind your back. Go ahead and lift your hips a little bit higher, strong legs. Let's see if we can hold for five. So breathing deeply. Four. Three. Two. Release that interlace and one, then one vertebra at a time. Go ahead and roll all the way down. Hugging both knees in towards your chest. And just a gentle rock from side to side. Just massaging your lower back. And then go ahead and squeeze your knees in towards your chest. Go ahead and lift your chest up, forehead towards your knees. Take a long, deep inhale through your nose. Exhale, release out into your Shavasana. So coming into final resting pose, legs a little bit wider than your hips, arms a little bit wider than your shoulders, palms facing up. Finding a little bit of stillness. Coming back to your natural rhythm of your breath. Simply breathing in, breathing out. Just enjoying this moment of silence. This moment of just being present in your body with your breath and your movements. And we want to try to set your intentions for your, the rest of your day. So see if you can bring a little bit of this awareness and mindfulness that we practice today in our, in our yoga practice throughout the rest of your day. So whenever you're feeling a little bit anxious, a little bit stressed, just reminding yourself to breathe, to be present. So 
So I encourage you guys to stay for a little bit longer, at least a couple of minutes if you have time. And I, meanwhile, I just want to thank you guys for tuning in and doing this little practice with me. I hope you like what I teach. The best way to support this channel, to support me, is to hit the subscribe button, like button. And I hope to get, see you guys soon. Take care. Namaste.